Hi guys, welcome back to my channel African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine and I'm doing a psychic focus for you for the week ahead. This is from the, um, call it the 10th till the 17th of October. Guys, I must just let you know that this is the third time I've had to record this video. The Mercury retrograde was really doing things. I started recording it on Friday and now we only finally got it around. Oh, Spirit, I'm not saying that message, okay. I'll choose this one. Problem resolved. So you're going through certain problems in your life, but you know what? The healed reality is a reality that's available for you as well as this week opens up. Um, if you just remember that universe has got your back, this goes there worrying, but the ships are coming in in the distance. So solutions are coming for you. Help is coming for you. You don't need to worry. Just continue with faith and gratitude as the week opens up. Let's get another message for the collective. This is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. Take what fits, leave what doesn't for someone else. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. So your peace cannot be disrupted by problems or with anything. Once you're in alignment with the, with the universe and you know that God is love, spirit, ancestors, your angels, they love and they only desire for the best things to happen for you. Nothing can disrupt your peace. Not having your peace disrupted doesn't mean that you're not... Um, caught up in what's going on or doesn't worry you it just means that you continue to have peace and happiness because you know that the one who has got your back is much greater than any outside circumstances out of you let's find out what the collective needs to know clear concise messages please for the collective archangels michael gabriel Raphael, ariel ancestors spirit guides only clean energies are allowed in here please come through in this reading what do we need to know right here Clear, concise messages for the collective, please. Thank you. What do we all need to know right now for the week ahead? I hope you've had a fabulous week so far. And as your week or your strong starts up, I hope you're starting off with all of the best of energy, very positive, focused on being the best of, of people that you can be. So I see a very happy homecoming in for some people, possible um improvements in the house and deep marital bliss being extremely happy with who and what your, your eye lands on in the house so this is a very good energy coming in and though as this is happening you've got your happy home going on you might have the unwanted attendance of an admirer some person might say that they've got the hearts for you they really can't live without you and you're kind of like thinking uh i didn't quite see you that way you know i didn't quite view things in that way i'm surprised that you like that and you may be feeling that this person's got unbridled uh, passions let's get some incense up in here for you all this is a lovely sandalwood incense it's really quite calming and cleansing put it in my mouth to purpose uh, lamp right there so you might be having unwanted attention of an admirer and for a few of you you need to be wary of issues to do with fraud someone may come to you with some fraudulent uh, offer so you need to be very well mindful of that this week because this offer could actually lead to contractual disagreements or to litigation in some cases where something may actually uh, go to court because some document was i'm being told to use the word infringed upon or rights were infringed upon in the past, I see you've got some very good news concerning children and their affairs, and you've got a lot of help um, from younger people. And as in the current circumstances, some of you may be signing some important documents and paperwork. This theme has been coming up for the past like three weeks. So it might be an ongoing process, of course, with Mercury retrograde doing what she does best. Uh, there are a lot of delays with paperwork, communication, and all of that. But just ride it out until oh, my incense. Let's switch off. Let me get that on. So just write it out, uh, out until the re retrograde ends, which should be about around the 25th of October, because yes, it does end around the 14th, but uh, you've got this uh, shadow period coming in as well, and you also need to be very aware of that potent time. In the future, you can be more decisive, and you're going to make clear decisions moving forward, because of course, the retrograde will be over. So that fog in our mind would have lifted off and you know exactly what you need to do, how you need to do it and how you're moving forward. You're going to be a lot more decisive. And I also feel that with that energy, you're also going to be in an energy where uh, you're going to go into new directions and form new relationships. Some of you all are coming out in this Virgo energy, being very single and independent or just financially independent, uh, expanding your hustle, uh, your grind, expanding the things that give you finances. And you might be signing contracts 
to do with this uh, expansion in your business. Um, in my Instagram this morning, I posted about, yesterday I posted about a change in career. So that could be that coming up for some of you where you're changing career and you're on the right path. You don't really need to worry. Spirit has got you and some cycles close up for new things to come in. I've got two tens coming in, ten, ten. Everything is clear and you close certain cycles and new ones are coming in. And Spirit is saying the worst is over and the future can be faced with a lot more hope and confidence. For some of you, maybe issues to do with children. And Spirit is saying to you, you know what? The worst of what you've gone through is over and things are going to become a whole lot better and clearer for you. So you don't need to worry. Some of you got your guard up against some sort of uh, battle challenges. And like I said earlier on, it could be even things to do with litigation or contractual disagreements. So you've got your guard up, you've got your back up and you're kind of like, uh, I know what's coming up here and I'm not about to entertain all of that. So that's coming up and you think about the long-term future. But as this week closes off, you're going to be listening a lot more to your intuition. Remember the month of October is also quite an important month where the veil is thin and you may be having a lot of supernatural experiences for some of you. All right, let's find out what's going on right here. What is crossing the path of the collective in the week ahead? Someone's wishing for a child. Someone may be wanting to be with you because they want to have a child with you. There's an energy coming out for someone in particular. Of course, everyone's story is different. Someone may be wanting to have your baby and they think it's going to be wish fulfilled. But for a couple of people, especially the people with unbridled passions right there, it's just wishful thinking, wishing that pigs would fly. Not likely. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> someone's wishing for this pregnancy, wishing to get someone pregnant or wishing to be pregnant by someone. Um... Yeah, that's definitely coming in. And you're kind of like, ah, you know what? You've got your passions all over the place. I'm not about to let you have the next generation coming from me. Not at all. Wow, that's an interesting thing coming in. So they might want to swindle you out of your affections and being told to put that way. And your spirit guides are there and they're like, you know what? Something can move real fast. And if someone's thinking something's going to start up again with you, it might not happen because they're thinking more about the money and how they've lost um, an opportunity to have finances if they're not with you. But your spirit guide is here laughing it off and saying, you know what? That's like real wishful thinking. That someone right there thinking that pigs would fly right there. It's not likely to happen. See, the spirit guide is laughing at that. Like, no, how could they think that? Because you've really got a lot of clarity right up to your crown chakra. You're seeing things clearly. Vision 2020. So let's see what's coming up in uh, towards you in the future here, in the week ahead. Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. Thank you. You're going to have a lot of clarity. So as the retrograde is passing over, you're getting a, a lot of clarity. This is like the, um, I, I like to call this like Virgo energy, the Queen of Swords, having a lot of emotional intelligence and having as well spiritual intel leading you ahead and telling you this is a red flag. You don't need to listen to that. Yes, we can proceed with that. No, listen to your intuition. Yes, go towards those things you want to go towards. So as you become more, as you use your emotional intelligence, you're going to be more decisive because you're going to know exactly what you need to do. You may do a bit of research on the path you want to go into. Then maybe I need to take care of paperwork, administration, applications and stuff that have been left and, and done and all of that. For someone else, I feel that someone's coming to propose. Oh, I hope, I hope I've been spoiled the secret for someone. Someone wants to propose to you and they, because they see you they see themselves having a very happy family with you and being very content, but they might lack a bit of confidence in the week ahead. They're lacking the confidence to come through to you and actually say to you, you know what? I think you rock. Let's make this work. <laughs> that's so sweet all right what's the key of this reading here what do we have for the nine of pentacles clear concise messages please for the collective all those who are drawn to this message i'll take them because everyone's story is different remember so having this a financial independence, whatever you call independence, is going to bring a lot of happiness for some of you because you're coming out of a season where you felt like, yes, I've been left for dead right there. But you know what? Spirit was there as a witness watching all the things that were going on. And Spirit is saying the worst is over and the future can be faced with more hope and confidence. I've got 10, 10, 10 coming in right here. 9, 9, 10, 10, 10. So some cycles are closing off and you got the clarity, the truth about what actually is going to make you very happy. Though as you're getting the clarity, you might have sleepless nights, maybe mulling over the idea and how things are going to work out, how you can expand your hustle, your work, and all of that, and get that financial independence. For some of you, it's financial. For some of you, it's some other type of independence. But you're kind of like, you know what, the cycle is closed. Nine and the ten following after the, uh, each other, and right after that is the ace. 
So you're really winding up a cycle and it's leading to a lot of happiness and success and a lot of respect from the community as well. This is a really lovely energy coming in for the collective. Well, guys, you've really done the work. Well done. Okay, let's find out what are the environmental factors that will help us or hinder us. Can we get some spiritual intel in the house? Oh, yeah. So with the retrograde, thanks to the retrograde, someone is becoming all nostalgic and they're coming um, to a point where they're ending the internal conflict within themselves about what happened in the past, how did things happen, how could things have happened differently. And I feel that with that energy, okay, I'm going to turn right, these right over. Yeah, they can, you're coming to the end of some conflict about things and you're getting, um, this is divine inspiration about how to move forward with your work, especially. The Spirit is saying that you're very good at your work. You're like head and shoulders above all the rest. So you're getting the clarity from divine about how to work. And you may be leaning on something you did on the past, but you've got internal conflict about whether you actually want to go back to the past work or not. But it's going to give you a lot of stability. And yes, there is that still holding on to the past. Like, oh gosh, after that shanty town that I once was in, I need to hold on to what I have, hold on to my experiences so I don't ever have to go back to that place. Because she's just right there with um, a very nicely built up place. But she's thinking about the past and she's like, no, I definitely want to don't want to go back into that energy and I'm going to do whatever it takes. And if it means expanding my hustle, I'm going to do that to stay on top of my game right there. So let's see, what are you guarded about um, in the week ahead? Clear, concise messages, please. Can the best advice come through for the collective? Okay, saying I should get the answers elsewhere. Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. What do we need? What are we putting a guard up against? So someone is really uh, taking a closer work, a look at paperwork to do with finances and getting money. For some people, it may be getting clearance to travel. It's coming through like that, getting clearance and finances to travel, to go for it. But cancer sign energy coming through right here. And it may be because you're traveling because there's some proposal that's coming in for you, whether it's a business or a work proposal, but it could come in unexpectedly. And I feel that you may be doing the water sign, but not necessarily. But cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming up right there. And Taurus, right there. But someone they're traveling to get married, and they're very guarded about their decision. They don't want anyone to talk them out of that. But look at this. There's a beautiful blessing coming in from spirit, from your angels, from your guides. If you see this card, there's a lot of snow around. But look at this. There's a bunch of flowers that have bloomed as a blessing for this character right here. So this is a blessing from above. This is really, really beautiful. And this is like, look at this. He's giving him a thumbs up. Like, you know, thumbs up. Everything's okay. You're blessed and everything's going to work out well for you. This is also getting advice from those who are wiser and more experienced than yourself. This came up in the theme of last week. Um, you may be getting advice from those who are wiser concerning some sort of... Um, disputes that could be there you may be dealing with some very antagonistic characters yeah you've got lots of options about which direction you want to go in concerning that issue so let's see what is this conflict right here that you're guarded against that your spirit guys are saying you know you don't even need to worry we've blessed you regardless of any conflict that may come up thank you thank you so this conflict is coming up because you're all healed from a heartbreak here we are all healed you got proposals coming in and you remember your worth. So you're walking through the doors of value, valuing the way you value, um, changing the way you value your time, your energy, your efforts and all of that. And that's helping you to heal from the heartbreak. You're like, you know what? I'm better than this. I deserve better. I don't need to sit here wallowing, worrying about what happened, who did what and all that conflict. And someone may be conflicted about that. Like, you know, how dare you heal? This energy came up a couple of weeks ago. And you may be getting proposals in this, whoever it was who was causing conflict with you is getting a whole lot more angry and jealous because con, uh, um, proposals are coming in for your work or personal proposals. You've changed the way you value yourself. There's successful property deals on the cards and you just seem to be unstoppable. Unstoppable no matter what. I think I'm going to call the video that. Unstoppable. And you got the clarity. You're riding forward with the clarity. Yeah, here we go. You know the tr it's truth. It's truth that you have healed from the heartbreak and you value yourself a whole lot better. You're kind of like, you know what? You're not even worth me crying over because I value myself a whole lot more. That was me doing you a favor by allowing you into my energy, but you're not even worth the tears. You ain't going to be doing no cry me a river for this person right here. And you got the clarity. Here it is. It's true. You got the truth. The Ace of Swords is true. You got the clarity. This person thought that they could hurt your feelings and it was just a temporary advantage. But look at this. As much as he's got these swords under his arm, he can still cut himself with the same ammunition. He thinks his one's a temporary advantage, but he's left this guy on his knees 
praying, meditating, talking to your spirit guides, and day is breaking for him. So it's a temporary advantage, and you see it clearly that, you know what, I value myself better. Oh, here we go. There's the conflict has come up as well. The lot of changes coming up as well this week. I got a number five, five coming up quite a bit. Here's the conflict. What is this conflict here? Yeah, conflict that you've healed over heartbreak, and you're seeing the truth that, you know what, this person preferred to see me broken, broken hearted, distressed, without a plan, feeling sad, feeling sorry for myself, being in that victim mentality, and they don't like the way you've bossed up and become a survivor and not a victim. Yeah, you've bossed up for real. Bossed up real time and certain contracts are being signed on your behalf or you're signing certain contracts perhaps for a couple of you, the help of a lawyer and your intuition is helping you to see things in a different way. I feel like any stagnation that's been there about um, the area of you changing how you live has come to an end. Yeah, and here you are very confident on top of your game and someone just can't stand to see in that energy where you're powerful, you're mighty, you know the truth about what you need to do, got two kings, that could be as well, getting clarity about finances as well and feeling very confident knowing that, you know what, spirit is on my side, I'm in alignment with the love of the universe and my peace cannot be disrupted. Someone is pissed off that you walked away from the drama and chose peace over drama and they just can't stand it. They just cannot handle it. And you're no longer confused. You've got a lot of clarity about exactly what you want to do and how you want to do that. And they just can't stand it. Look at this. We've got a soulmate junior coming in right now. For a couple of you, you are meeting up with a boss of bosses who's a very respectable and very successful in the business arena. And this person is like thinking, you know what, I need to work together with you. This other person can be feeling left out in the cold because of the recognition and acknowledgement that you're getting and they're seeing you recover. This is the recovery. We've got Aquarius coming in. They're seeing you recover from whatever it is that you were going to and they just can't believe it and you're busy working hard and universe has decided to bless you balance up the scales of the good things you did against the good things you received and the universe is like saying you know what saturn's going in retrograde until like 14th of october there let me bless this person with the financial gift because of all the good things they've done in the past and they just can't stand it they were so pissed off with you they thought that heaven was also going to be pissed off with you Maybe dinged an Aries, someone who's emotionally unavailable as well, not necessarily just an Aries, but someone who's emotionally unavailable and a bit tyrannical and overdoing the control. But that's no longer working. That control is not working because you remembered your worth, you remember who you are. Yes, you know that they're emotionally unavailable, but your intuition is telling you, you know what, you're still the best no matter what, and you're not thinking about the past anymore. You've turned the back on the past. You're no longer all nostalgic. Well, Mercury retrograde did try and get you back in that energy, didn't it? And someone's saying, no, it's not over it's not done you could be scorpio energy sounds like it's not done it's not finished i'm not done with you like i said the month of october is going to be very uh, important for us personally and as a collective as well someone's going to be making money from the skills and the talents because you have mastered your craft and you're catching someone who's been spying on you they come up to you and they tell you oh you know i know where you're staying oh i know what you're doing uh i've, I've been watching you and all of that and you're catching the sneaky behavior What's this about the sneaky behavior real fast for the collective? This person is not resting. Uh, they're not sleeping well because they're all caught up in thinking, oh gosh, this person knows me, but I can't even hold up a candle to this person. This person is so stable. They know exactly what they want. And their spirit guides are strong. This person is highly intuitive. The spirit guides have led them right to my lair or to where I've been um, spying on them and all of that. And they can see that you are walking into a wish fulfillment into the life that you've always wanted and they cannot stop you at all. You've put something to rest. You're kind of like, you know what, let's ice this baby right here. We're not moving forward with your story anymore. I'm moving towards the sun, to the happiness. Ain't nothing going to stop me. I've got a lot of confidence and I'm very passionate about work. I'm hearing an affirmation. I, I go to work passionately. I, I passionately approach my work. You got the clarity about what makes you happy, baby. They can't stop you. They can't hold you back. Spirits on your side. Ooh, someone's coming in from the past for some of you. For a couple of you, there's a reconciliation coming in with a past lover, past person that's coming in for a couple of you. It's new love because you close certain doors and you're seeing clearly that, oh gosh, this is it. And someone is sending you messages and all of that. Darlings, I enjoy doing your reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my details will be down there in the description box down below. I wish you well. 
well. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you all the best in the week ahead. Um, and I look forward to seeing how this reading resonates with you. I do read all of your comments and I do respond. Thank you very much. Please keep them coming. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I also look forward to hearing how last week's stuff played out for you. Uh, what power moves the spirit um, put in the way uh, in the way to help you. Um, I really look forward to seeing all of that because spirit has been very active in the past week. Till the next reading, I wish you love, light, and divine healing wherever you need it. Sunshine, signing out.